How do you approach, uh, in, a, in a state as large and you know, as sprawling as California, and you've got very big state agencies, how do you approach that mix of sort of standardization versus uh, customization or, uh, I don't know, what's the right balance there yeah. for the state of California? What is the government? You know, that's a great like? question. I think, you know, one of the areas within the Department of Technology and state why we're trying to focus on is really saying, okay, we need to look at standardization of our IT platforms, meaning infrastructure, mm -hmm. and how can we come up with a common framework that drives common procurements, that drives common services, and that we all use the same services, and that yeah. we're going through uh, interconnectivities that make sense so we can secure those services, whether you're in at the data center or you're in a um, public government cloud, yeah. making sure that that data is secure as it moves back right. and forth between the state's network and firewall. Uh, we think that applications are better off being managed at the department level and more of a federated approach. Okay. And that way folks have resources to manage the applications, ensuring that uh, business requirements are aligned appropriately. Yeah. They can make the necessary configuration changes mm -hmm. to their systems. We see that happening at the, the, the department level and at the, the state level, us managing the infrastructure behind the scenes and making sure that's secure. Yeah. So all in all, this hybrid model we, we see moving forward is the right way to do business in California. California is such a big state right. that we need to have what's called a federated model of governance mm -hmm. and a federated model of how we look at technology yeah. really as an asset that brings business value. Um, given the, I mean, TechWire's audience is largely an industry audience, what's the message to uh, your industry partners out there as you, as you move in this direction? What do you need out of what do you need out of those folks and how would you like them to, to support this? Yeah, I think that's real important. We've always said this is a public-private partnership yeah. and I think we have a vendor work group now that's part of our procurement modernization effort, really to streamline procurements and become okay. more inclusive for vendors to be able to provide their services. And I think we're really heading in that direction with our partners at Department of General Services okay. to lay out a strategic approach that modernizes procurement and makes it easier for vendors to come right. in and provide services. Right. Um, our goal is to make sure they understand our strategic direction and necessary security frameworks moving forward. So we're working collaboratively with the vendor community. We yeah. have a vendor governance structure really to lay those initiatives and core objectives out. Okay. So I think you know the message with the vendor community is hang in there. We're, we have our first uh, cloud services that we're moving forward within um, government cloud with Amazon and Microsoft Azure. Uh, the next round is to look at FedRAMP moderate in terms of our security posture to let um, those vendors do services. And then uh, in 2018, we'll be looking at software as a service and how we uh, modernize our procurement areas to allow more vendors to do business in the software and service area. Mm -hmm. Again, defining our interconnects and ensuring they're aligning with our security posture. So okay. it again, it's a partnership that we need and in order for the state of California to be successful, we definitely see the value of our vendor partnerships and what they provide in terms of services, both on the hardware side and software side. Yeah.